Hello and welcome to my stupid simple world edit tutorial series where my goal is to free you from the fear of world edit commands so that you can build your dream worlds. Now, the first thing we need to learn in anything world edit is how to select an area. Now selecting in world edit is very similar to like an image editing program where you select a square or a circle or some kind of area that you want to manipulate in some way, either change the colors or copy and paste it. World edit is the exact same thing. World edit works the same way. It's just in 3D, which is a bit complicated, but right now we're gonna do it in 2D. And what we need to do in order to tell world edit what we want to select, we gotta pick the top corner and then the bottom corner. So the other opposite end. So what we do is we can use this world edit wand as we like to call it, but it's the wooden ax. And we left click our first position. Then we right click our second position right there. All right. And what ends up happening is now world edit knows I want to do something with this area right here. And yeah, we could do all sorts of things right now with it. We can, we can move it. We can copy it and paste it somewhere we can rotate it we can do all sorts of crazy things that we'll learn in future tutorials but i wanted to teach you guys the very basics one step at a time so we're going to show you a few commands really quick but they're not going to uh i'm going to look at them in much more depth later now since we've got this area selected let's start playing around with some random things we can do with it now watch we can move it four blocks that way right now, the thing is, is I've moved it, but world edit still has this area selected here. So I can't just go move it again, or it'll move the air blocks to replace what I just had there. Now, here's another command that I need you guys to remember, slash U, boom. That's an undo command. You can do it almost as many times as you want. And yeah, so we got this right back here. It's now within our selection area. So now we can do other things with it. We could say, replace the whole square that we have selected with another block. So if we do set stone, that shows you the area that I have selected right there. See that? Now say if you want to select a 3D area, Right now, you're only selecting on two planes here. This is, a, this is a 2D one. But if we want to do a 3D area, we can bash this, right? And then we go to the very opposite corner over here. Now we have a bit of a conundrum, don't we? We had something to bash for the first selection, but there's no block up here, is there? This is where I want to teach you guys how to use the position commands. Now we do slash slash pause two in this case because i already did pause one down there and now the point that i'm standing at where my feet reside is the second point now we can see this if i do set stone again that's the area that i have selected now notice i missed a little section here so watch this let's undo and say if i moved again slash move five uh-oh <laughs> It moved everything except for what I didn't select. So you got to be really careful what you have selected. And yeah, so that's the very, very basics of selecting an area. Now you could do a lot with it. I, you know, this might feel like a jip of an episode, but I want to go one step at a time and, and, and we can't do anything unless we know how to select things. Now, like I said, to go over it again, you select your first position with your left click and your second position with your right click, or you can set your first position with slash slash pause one. And then your second selection with pause two. And then that will select the area using commands. And that way you don't have to actually have a block there. Sometimes it's nice to have a block just so you know exactly where you're standing, but you know, it's also nice to be able to do it right in midair. So that is the very basics of selection. In the next tutorial, we'll learn some commands that we can use along with this select command. Like I said, this one's a little bit boring. I get it. I totally get it. 
but we're going to get to some really interesting things in the future. So be on the lookout for those tutorials. Now, before I go, if you want to practice any of these things, but don't have a server to play on with World Edit, Builders Refuge is the place for you. Their public section has all the tools you'll need to practice any of my tutorials. But anyways, this has been FamilyCraft. Happy building!